Good afternoon. I am Trooper Linnea Crane, the Public Information Officer for Troop E. This is an active and ongoing investigation, so we will be limited to how many questions we can answer at this time. And now I would like to introduce the Troop E Commander, Major Mikolos S. Cersei. Thanks, Linnea. Um, I'd also like to acknowledge the village officials from Horseheads, the different agencies, the police department, the fire department, um, the village office itself. Uh, they've assisted in this investigation uh, starting today. Um, it's kind of uh, gotten uh, um, moved forward, let's put it that way. I'm going to read a written statement here, and um, as Linnea said, we'll have some limited questions. There's a lot of stuff we can't answer. Um, on November 6, 2023, a Veteran Highway Department employee rendered 911 services to Merca Road in the town of Veteran for a found possible explosive. Members of the New York State Police Bomb Disposal Unit and FBI responded and made the explosive safe. Members of the State Police and our federal partners diligently investigated numerous leads over the week by interviewing neighbors and seeking information from companies across the United States, which yielded a possible suspect. Michael P. is in Paul Hilliard, age 43, was apprehended on November 11, 2023, and charged with criminal possession of a weapon in the first degree, which is a B felony. He was arraigned and remanded to the Chemung County Jail, where he, re he remains at this time. On today's date, the New York State Police Bureau of Criminal Investigation executed a search warrant at Hilliard's residence, which is located at 207 South Main Street in the village of Horseheads. The New York State Police Bomb Disposal Unit, Contaminated Crime Scene Emergency Response Team, and Forensic Identification Unit located several suspicious hazardous materials inside the residence. The immediate surrounding area of the residence has been evacuated for safety concerns until the suspect's residence is cleared of all hazards to the public. The residents who have been evacuated will be assisted by the Red Cross and the Horseheads Fire Department. The New York State Police are working in conjunction with the FBI for the disposal of all hazards. East Franklin Street to Broad Street will be closed to the public until further notice. We ask the public to remain clear of the area while the scene is being processed. The New York State Police would like to thank the community and the displaced families for their patience during this incident. Updates will be provided as they become available. We ask that anyone with information regarding this incident or this gentleman to contact the New York State Police at area code 585-398-4100. Uh, as Linnea mentioned, I mentioned earlier, this is an active investigation. I'll take a few questions. I'll answer them if, if I uh, am able. There's a connection. Is, was he the suspect that was arrested on that He was, yes. Well, do you know why he was, um, what information was developed on why they wanted to stop him before he reported the breach to the city of Bethesda? I can't discuss that at this time. What kind of, a, can you discuss possibly what kind of material was recovered today? Uh, you're talking bombing material or maybe precursors? I can't answer that question directly. Um, there's several different materials there which cause it to be a hazardous site. Um, based on that fact, the local teams we have with the state police and the local FBI aren't able to remove all those materials. So we've had to utilize the FBI, they're flying in, or I'm sorry, driving in people from Quantico and Alabama to assist with that. So I asked the media to help with the, uh, pushing out the message to the public that those streets will be closed, could be up to 48 hours as we remediate the scene. I can't share that this time, no. Thank you. Can you just say oh, your first and last name? Sure. My first name is Miklos, M-I-K-L-O-S, and the last name is Sertse. S-Z is in zebra, O, C is in cat, Z is in zebra, E-I. Major. Major. Yeah, Troop E Commander. And you said uh, Mr. Hilliard, he's in the Shimokana Jail currently at this point? Yes. Do you know if there's going to be a... Uh, we're, we'll discuss that, possibly. We'll have to see uh, if it fits. Because since the uh, investigation is ongoing, we'll have to discuss that and make sure we don't compromise any of that. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for the time.